Okay, it is the 15th of February, 2021. I'm sitting, my UPSs are going off because the power has been out. It is about 7.31. The power has been out since 5.05 .05 this morning. Uh, probably five o'clock actually, now that I think of it, but um, the power went out earlier around uh, two, but only for about 15 minutes. This has been for a little, it's been going on for a little while now. Um, I'm just sitting here in the dark, hoping the power will come back on at some point, but as of right now, generators uh, uh, statewide are being strained and some are shut down, so they're trying to keep the grid from total failure, which is apparently is not good. <laughs> Who'd have thought, but I'm just sitting in the dark, staying warm. Not really much you can do. So just waiting it out. Hopefully we'll get it back up. When there's a little more light, probably not too long from now, I'll go outside and see what see what I can see. But the the snow was significant for us in Houston. So the ice will be the issue because there was a lot of rain before this the cold air moved in so I know everything was still wet but I do see that the snow is covering everything so that makes it worse <laughs> so uh, when I walk the dog I don't really want to go out unless I absolutely have to but the lady has to do her business at some point but they're asleep right now uh, I knew that there were going to be rolling blackouts they were saying they were going to pro probably do them but is a lot longer than they projected so it's a just a waiting game Night's rain is all frozen. Ice, there's a handful of flurries still going, but the sky's starting to open up, which means it's gonna get colder. Okay, there we go. So it is uh, 18 degrees right now. The clouds are finally breaking up. There's still some flurries in the air. It's really cold. It's really, really cold out here. Um, that's it for the freezing precipitation. And the big problem is that we don't have any power right now. And it looks like we're not going to get it anytime soon. So we're dressed significantly warm. And hopefully we'll stay that way. Okay. Walking lady. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. It is 22 degrees right now, so it is just everything's still frozen. Anything that the, the sun touched melted enough, so that way, now, like this, is pure ice. So, walking is very treacherous, very dangerous, and I don't, I don't, I don't understand the, uh, the, uh, the phenomenon about it melting in the sun, even though the temperature is below freezing. So, that, that, uh, that's something interesting. It is, uh, uh, it feels like a freezer. It's, it's, it's very cold. I don't know if you call it painfully cold, but so far, you know, the streets, the, all of that was frozen this morning. It's all, uh, melted off. So some of the parts of the street, like this street's pretty heavily used. Um, that means it'll, uh, it'll melt and it'll stay dry, which is very important. So... If people in like, emergency vehicles need to go across, they can. But uh, it's just as far as overall, uh, we still don't have power. And from the reports, it looks like we will not have power until tomorrow. I don't know what time tomorrow. So I'm assuming sometime after the sun, after the, uh, the uh, temperature warms up beyond 32, which will be 
sometime after 12 o'clock tomorrow, hopefully. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an incredible weather event that's occurring. I normally am... Normally I find these types of things fascinating. I like to be out more more out in it, but the uh, lack of power just kind of drains you. So we've just been conserving energy in uh, every possible way, really. And uh, I guess this is uh, going to be just me complaining that it's cold. It is Tuesday, the uh, 18th. It's Tuesday. We got power back last night around 1 a.m. So now I'm walking lady this morning. I don't even know how much you can hear me, but this is all iced over there, so we have to go on the grass. So she sees a, a person walking another dog, so she wants to go see you, as usual. She already, she already did her uh, business this morning, so now we're just walking back and getting a, letting her get some time outside because. Yesterday, she almost did nothing because we were just sitting to try to keep warm and didn't really play with her that much like we normally do. Everything out here is still pretty frozen. It's 14 degrees right now Fahrenheit and like that, that's a big patch of, of, uh, of ice and you can see where the car was parked. There's the holes where the tires were. Lady's doing what she always does, just dig around and sniff. See, all of that stuff that melted a little bit is now that we get these patches of ice under these, the snow. So walking on the grass is a bit safer. Not, not much safer, but it is safer. But all of this uh, ice and snow should be gone within, uh, by the way, it's Tuesday, so as early as tomorrow night it might be gone. Ready to go inside? I think maybe she is. saying under 50,000 people now in the city are without power so maybe we've hit the tipping point where everything stays online I still think we're we're it might be still be shaky today uh, the big thing is there's no water none not even a trickle nothing and that's uh, that's gonna be I don't know. I don't know which is worse. No power, no water. I'd always go with no power. I, if I had the choice, I would go no power. Even though it's literally freezing outside, I can layer up. We can sit in a small space. Not having a water means no toilets. But not having... there's It's, it's bad either way. I don't know, but we may be over the worst of the power problem. I'm not too hopeful right now. Tomorrow, I think it'd be uh, more stable, but I don't know. It's just been, uh, and that's because we have it. We have a very good. We have very few problems at all. I can't imagine people who are having real problems. It's um, just a bad situation all around. And we're getting closer to the end of it, I think. But this is as bad as a hurricane, basically. 
getting a hurricane. But most of the same things that happen, except for the cold, are occurring because of, of this storm. So, just tired overall. I didn't film as much as I wanted to just because the you know, situation just, it wasn't necessarily dire, but it was uh, uncomfortable. And I don't want to pick up the camera when I'm not feeling happy or feeling like I should be filming something. And the situation, though, I think we, we were off and on with power until Thursday. I think Thursday was the first full day and we had stable power. We lost water Wednesday night and we got water back Friday night. That was the worst of it, thankfully. There was nobody. We were just really, really inconvenienced and that was about it. So we, we fared pretty well. Uh, I filmed a, a decent amount. I just wish I'd done more, but then and when you're in the situation, picking up a camera is the last thing you want to do, typically. So, that was it. Today, it's like it's almost 60. I went out, I have a short sleeve shirt on. I went out with a, with a short sleeve shirt already, so it's nice. Again, I don't know what we're going to do as a collective to make sure these problems don't occur again, because a lot of most of the problems were fixable or things that could have been prevented so there's a lot of um, a lot of trouble the storm left behind outside of the obvious so that was the storm for I guess President's Day was when it really started because the snow started at right around midnight so President's Day President Week storm that happened is over and um, it's interesting how much things like this will stick with you and you'll just feel, you'll feel it. So I guess you could equate that to trauma. And this one, I, I felt it pretty good. I think hurricanes and things of that nature are very are stressful also. And this was, the, the level of stress was there. So much that it's Sunday when I'm filming this, it comes out, to, this comes out tomorrow. I was, this is the end cap for it, and I still feel a little bit weary of every of the world right now, which, I mean, I guess you should always be, because it's, it's always around, but, uh, it's nice to have a day where the, the lights turn on and the water turns on, and those are things you don't have to think about, so, we're warm again, and glad it's over.